Hey guys, how you doing today? Coming back with another video on a fake bake. This time I want to show you guys how I made my s'mores. So, I already got started. Um, so what you use is you just get a foam, a white little foam square box from um, Dollar Tree. Um, foam boards, uh, craft paint, and balloons. Definitely balloons. And what I did was I took the foam, covered it with the balloon. Just take a balloon, cut off your tip, so where you blow it at. Stretch it out and just put it over your foam. You're going to need about, if you use a white foam, you're going to need about maybe two balloons of work. That's what I use here. But if you use another color of foam, you may need more than one, um, two balloons. Um, and then all you do is take your foam boards, cut out two pieces to make it your... Um, cookie and you need a piece for the top and a piece for the bottom then use your craft paint to uh, draw in your little face as you see here and then to make your uh, chocolate um, cream to come out here um, what I did was I took Let me see if I can angle it where you guys can see it better. Not really, but I'm trying here. There we go. And I also took... Oop. And you can get this and this at Dollar Tree. You can also get your foam board. You can also get your... um foams that you need um they also have balloons at Dollar Tree but I got mine at um Walmart um and then you will need some craft paints uh trying to show it as best as I can guys to make your chocolate cream here just mix it real good in a bowl I mixed it really good in a bowl and then um, I've just put it in a little sandwich bag here but after I did that I realized that I think I had a little hole in my bag so it was making a mess but we're gonna try not to make a mess so oh and then also Classic Caramel is the color that I used for the graham crackers. And I didn't paint both sides because you, you don't really see like the other side of it. And then just poke some holes. I used, honestly, I used the end of a paintbrush. And I just made my line here in the middle and then poked in some holes to make it look like the cookie. Okay, so now let's move on to, let's get our graham crackers put together here. I think these came out pretty cool, right? Let me see if I can... There it goes. Oh my God, it's so cute, right? So that's what we're making over here. So I'm going to move this one to the side for right now. That way it's not in my way. I hate when things are in my way. Okay, so what you're going to do is, you see, you simply put your... I'm going to glue it down. So we're going to give the glue gun a couple minutes to get 
like really hot and then you just stick it down we're gonna stick it there and then after you have to put your cream first I mean some people put their cream on top of the cookie maybe we should try that this time okay we're gonna put the cream on the on here but not a lot just a little bit and then I think I want to try but I think it does look neat with your chocolate down here but it's okay to try different ways you don't have to do it exactly the same all the time you can switch up now I'm trying to think people sorry where I stuck my gloves at because like I said I made a mess with making my cream here so I need a glove that way I don't make a bigger mess I don't make a bigger mess when I go to um pour my cream on because I really I'm really good at making messes so we're gonna stick this here but for now we're gonna go ahead sit them here move that to the side and we're going to let me put my gloves on I don't want to make a mess I only need one glove really because I don't know where the heck my little holes at see I already got my hands okay just make a teeny little baby hole because it comes right out it's very creamy okay then what we're gonna do is go over the edge just a little bit you don't want to do too much because it will go everywhere and make a big mess so see just so then sit it down here a minute i like to grab it and do this to it just to make it come down see see how cute that is now it may keep coming down and so last time what I did was I did add the, the chocolate I added it up here and then let it come down and when I did that I made a really big ugly mess so I don't want that to happen this time so that's why I'm just gonna okay so let's stick our marshmallow onto our graham cracker here see so just stick it on there like that see Cool. Then you take your second graham cracker and that's going to be the one that you're going to stick up here. So, and people please use a low temp glue gun for this part because if you don't, a high temp one, it's going to ruin it because one is going to be so hot it's going to burn right through your um foam and it's going to pop them balloons right off of there so make sure see that's so cute look at that so now i wanted to put a little bit of cream like I don't know, maybe at the bottom somewhere, because I, I want to put some sprinkles. So let's put some cream like right here. Put 
All right, set this back over here and then off to some sprinkles. Um, my sprinkles, um, I made, I got an idea from someone else that um, also does crafting. Um, so to make the sprinkles, I'll make another video on how to make your sprinkles. So for now, that way we can just keep moving. But just take a couple here. And then just add a couple there. A couple there. A couple there. See? See that? Now, I'm going to pour this back in here for a minute. Trying to avoid messes. Now let's put some. I say let's put a little bit of chocolate up here. gonna start dripping down but that's okay back to your sprinkles and just add a couple I wanted to make this one just a little bit different than the other ones Added sprinkles going around on my big one. See? That looks so cute. Now, like I said, it's going to probably drip down, but that's okay. Now that is so cute. So there is our s'mores. Let me move this over here and this over here. That way I can move him closer. You see guys, you see the sprinkles up there? Now that is so cute. Maybe we should dab a little more of chocolate down here. Put a little more chocolate right here. Let me pick it up real quick just to give it a little tilt to get these extra. ones off of here. There we go. So what do you guys think? Think of our wonderful little s'mores. He's so freaking cute. So that is it for this video. Thank you all for watching. We'll have many more videos to come. This was really fun. I hope to see if anybody creates it as well. Like I said, it's very easy and very cheap. And then you can display it in your kitchen anywhere you want. That is so cute. Look at the look at the sprinkles on the top. Come on, you can't you can't go wrong with that. You just can't see. And you see how your drizzle goes down. And that's it. 
there is our s'mores for today. Thank you guys. See you next time.